So I tried to apply that, those lessons I learned on, on Orphan Black to ARC, you know? It's like, this is a great story, lots of spectacle. Welcome. Good to talk to you, but but Ark, what a, it was great. And oh, me you. being a huge Netflix fan, and our, my family as well, we're you know, really looking forward cool. to it. I watched it the other night, and I went, wow, what a complex, like, mm. amazing story. Where did you even mm. come up with this? Well, you know, actually, I first wrote the idea, had the idea in 2008. You know, you know the, the, the time loop genre, time loop films are a genre unto themselves. And I thought, oh, what if I took a crack at that? What would that mean? And, and for myself, I tend to take a more scientific, rational perspective of things and as opposed to like a supernatural, magical thing. Like, okay, well, let's say scientifically if that happened. What, how could that possibly be? And I came up with this, this idea about the arc and okay, what does that mean? And I have the idea about, oh, it's energy and perpetual motion and tied in all these thematic elements to it. So that's how, how it started, you know, yeah. then I'd build the world. I'd extrapolate as to where we are now, where might we be in the future? And then hence came Taurus and all that kind of stuff. But then of course I had this, mechanism in place, but then I had to build these characters. And so right. it was kind of like one by one by one. The story, you know, I wrote over a couple of years and it just kind of, you know, it's layers. It's a, it's a very layered story. And it's a very, even though it happens in the same place over and over again, it's a very complicated narrative to keep track of, Absolutely. as you know. Absolutely. And then trying to make it clear so people understand it, yeah. you know. It's yeah. Uh, why Robbie? Robbie's amazing. He's so charming. Um, <laughs> Robbie, because he, he, I saw him in one of his features and he just had this certain charm and, and softness to him, actually. Which one? I'm just curious. Is it the uh, Duff? The Duff, yes. Yeah. He's, oh, yeah. he's so funny, too. Yeah. Like, and I don't, my film is not funny, you know. <laughs> no. But, but, but he had a, he had a, there's, there's a charm to him. And this character, you know, it, it, originally Renton was much harder and I think, I, I felt I needed somebody to really soften him a bit, you know, and be more sympathetic and empathetic. And Robbie had this, this sweetness to him, you know, and this, a bit of an innocence to him, like, oh, this is great and he responded and we had a Skype talk and chatted and it's like oh we want to make the same movie this is great yeah are you uh, I mean listen obviously you're into the sci-fi I mean mm -hmm. the stuff that you've given us I, you know I mean Orphan Black mm -hmm. uh, really one of my favorite oh, great. shows yeah, yeah, yeah. bar none and I know you did you wrote the first two seasons mm -hmm. and you know what is it like to write for somebody like Tatiana Maslany who's playing so many different characters that when you see her on screen you honestly think it's a different actor playing each one you feel that way when you talk to her on set too when she's in different costumes like oh it's Cosima today and you respond to her differently yeah. it's so weird like you know she's just such a force of nature that it's you know it it's really the bar is really really high when it comes to working with Tatiana and Orphan Black you know it's just like this what we what everyone expects and what we have to deliver is really high and so it challenges us you know and we just we don't settle early and we try to make very non-conventional choices but at the same time make it matter and make it you know make us emotionally respond to what's happening. And so I tried to apply that, those lessons I learned on, on Orphan Black to ARC, you know? It's like, this is a great story, lots of spectacle, neat idea, yeah. but do we care about these people? And that's, you know, that was part of the journey of, of writing the script and of course, casting Robbie and, and Rachel Taylor and it, uh, that's and well. The end product is. And how great is it to, to do stuff for Netflix? Oh my God, it's amazing! <laughs> like seriously, like, so you know, it's a low budget indie film. It really is. You know, a really high concept idea and very accessible. But you know, we would not compete with other high profile sci fi fare that you know have ninety million dollar budgets yet. You know, we're going to be screening in one week from today, and we're we're going to be screening in you know one hundred ninety countries, eighty three million potential viewers, you know, Amazing. not going to get that many, yeah, but, but a lot of viewers, you know, it's like, who doesn't want that? It's a dream come true for a filmmaker, you know, and Netflix has been so supportive from day one, and, you know, I just, it's a dream come true, and I, yeah. I can't be more grateful and happy. Okay, so in this film, yeah. the loop, every time that he wakes up and he's had his dream, mm -hmm. the alarm wakes him up at 6.16. I want to know what the significance of that. <laughs> the alarm actually doesn't wake him up at 6.16, technically, or, but he just wakes up at 6.16. Right, the okay. loop resets at 6.11. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But so he wakes up at 6.16, it just happens to be when he wakes up, I don't have, ex I'm not going to tell you why, I don't want to tell you why, okay. but, you know, the 6.16 is just, it's more, uh, it's just it's more balanced six one six. It's, okay, you know that was the street number that I grew up. On. Oh really? Yeah. So it just for me when I saw I, that, it oh, just okay. yeah. So it was very. I just said I could ask him that. I don't know if there was a yeah, significance yeah, yeah. for you, but that was kind of neat. Um, was it a huge challenge making this for you? The film? Yeah. No, you know, I gotta say, Bonnie, um, it was pretty easy. I had a really great cast and crew. Like seriously, once yeah. you know Netflix said go, we went. And, we, and so um, we shot it over 19 days here in Etobicoke, but um, it was pretty easy as far as that goes. Like, you know, making movies is, is hard work. It's yes, really hard work, but I had a great cast and crew, um, but it, 
I had a very strong grasp on the script. And it's a very complicated script, you know. So that was the biggest challenge, was just keeping track of where everybody was emotionally and even, you know, plot-wise. Okay, here we are in the garage for this 40-second time. What just happened in the previous and how does it affect what we're doing, what we're doing now? And also, not only doing that, but also visually telling that story through, through, through the camera work and everything, you know. So that was the biggest challenge, but a challenge, not not difficult, just a challenge. That would, you know, it's talk about raising that bar, and that really raised the bar each time we would we would attack a new scene and so forth. Yeah, Nate, yeah. it's really really cool. So what's next? Like, what are you? I'm sure your mind is already kind of yeah the next yeah. Thing. I, I'm just I'm actually writing. I'm, I'm halfway finished a, a new feature, a very high concept, very big idea this time. So we'll see. How that what, goes. what is it about sci-fi that grabs you? Like that? Yeah. You know, well, it's spectacle, which is great. You know, that's all fun to look at, you know. Um, I enjoy all that kind of stuff, but it really comes down to character. And what I like to explore is, you know, technology that, you know, you know, fantastical technology that, that is almost reachable, but almost not, but conceptually it's there. Yeah. And it's like, how does that affect us? Really, it's about how we react to that. You know, that's what I'm more interested in, because that really reveals more about us and as, as people and as, 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 you know, as characters individually and as people as, uh, as a whole, if that makes sense. I just really see those things when we when we are faced with new things and how do we respond to that reveals character.